Hey y'all, this is Zach. Uh, tonight we're gonna be making a really easy dip. We're making spinach and artichoke dip. Um, I've got all my ingredients here that I'm gonna add at one time in the Instapot. Um, so don't freak out because we are gonna be adding cream cheese, sour cream, and mayonnaise to the Instapot before we pressure cook. Uh, I know typically you don't do that. You just add it after and stir in, but it will work. We have tested this. So I'm gonna add, I've got garlic. I'm gonna chop up three cloves of garlic and I need a half cup of chicken broth. And to that, I'm gonna add, I've got a 14 ounce can of uh, marinated artichoke parts. I'm going to drain those and put those in there. I've got a, a eight ounce thing of cream cheese. I've got a little 10 ounce thing of frozen spinach and half a cup of mayonnaise and half a cup of sour cream. And I've got, a, I'm gonna use a teaspoon of onion powder. And all that's gonna go in the Instant Pot at one time. Yes, don't freak out, it's gonna work, trust me. Uh, so let me go get the, all that put in there and I'll be back. And at the end, add cheese. And then we'll, then we'll add cheese, okay. so we'll be back. I've got everything in there, including our sour cream and our mayo and our, our cream cheese. So take your lid, make sure it's all sealed. Pressure cook for four minutes. All right. Really, we'll be back. We did four minutes of high pressure, then I did a quick release. Take a look at it. And that dairy mixed in there just fine. All right, so now we're gonna take, I've got a cup of Parmesan cheese, I've got a grated, and I've got a cup of mozzarella cheese. And I'm just gonna mix that in there until it melts. Gets that really good consistency. Now you can add more cheese if you want it thicker. But there you go, folks. It's a really easy, really good spinach and artichoke dip. So we're gonna break out the chips and we're gonna get eaten. See y'all next time.